before. I would never go back. My hometown was like the suburb of a suburb. I actually lived on a cul-de-sac. That's literally a road that goes nowhere. That's the definition of dead end. I said I can't wait to learn to do a three-point turn because I don't want to be here. In four long years, I graduated high school. Well, I finished at the top of my class. Thank you. And in college, I discovered that deciding on a major was a bureaucratic pain in the ass. I thought that I would study the classics, but could only register for first year French. I should have heard my mom when I dropped Le Bomb. I said, I don't want to be here. No, I don't want to be here now. I was not a negative person. It's just that I've always known that I've had places to go, dreams to fulfill, and ideas to discover. They're just never where I am. So anyway, back at school, I lasted five semesters and somehow snagged one of their random degrees. I moved down south, I know, to shack up with a boyfriend and got a job at an Applebee's. <laughs> They fired me like three weeks later, and the boyfriend quickly followed suit. As I checked into a hotel, I said it's just as well, because I don't want to be here. No, I don't want to be here now. I, I was not a negative person, so I packed up my bags, though I had no place to go. I opened a map and said, show me my future, because it isn't where I am. Spent the next few months on a Greyhound bus Thinking I'd go and find where my life was But everywhere I went was the same old story From Nashville to both the Dakotas Oh, I ended up back home with my parents Not knowing what I should do And since I am a dork I moved to New York I started grad school. Right. Good job. I really don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs>